Hey, good afternoon everybody. It is December 23rd, 2023, and we are in the Old Testament book of Job, and we're going to read chapter 32 today. All right. So Job's friends have, have said, there's peace, which was that simple argument. Uh, bad things happened to you. You must have been guilty of something, because if you were really a righteous person, good things would have been happening to you. And we said, well, there's there's kind of some truth in there, but it's it's really simple. It doesn't account for all the fallen nature that, of the world that we live in. Job had a better explanation that it that it's you know his his plight had to do with the sovereignty of God, but but he took it to the wrong conclusion that that must mean that God wants to punish us and conflict be, be in conflict with us. That's why he created us. And again, they've all hidden around the truth. They've they've touched on the truth in some places, but they come to wrong conclusions. Now there's another person that we see who was sitting there watching this and apparently biting his tongue, a young man who in his vim and vigor wants to get in there and say, no, you're all wrong. I know the answer. And again, he does hit at some of the truths, but his conclusions are wrong. And we know that all that's wrong because, well, because we've read the Bible, but the way this story is set up, we understand that he's wrong. And in fact, if you'd have heard this story originally, you would know that he's going to make a wrong argument, no matter how good it sounds. So let's go ahead and we're going to start to hear, in this first section, this man Elihu contra contradicts everything that the friend said and, and tears down their argument. So let's go ahead with Job chapter 32. So these three men ceased answering Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. Then the wrath of Elihu, the son of Brachiel, the Buzite of the family of Ram, was aroused against Job. His wrath was aroused because he justified himself rather than God. Also against his three friends, his wrath was aroused because they had found no answer, yet had condemned Job. Now because they were years older than he, Elihu had waited to speak to Job. When Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men, his wrath was aroused. So Elihu, the son of Barakiel the Buzite, answered and said, I am young in years, and you are very old. Therefore I was afraid and dared not declare my opinion to you. I said age should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man, and the breath of the Almighty gives him understanding. Great men are not always wise, nor do the aged always understand justice. Therefore I say, listen to me, I also will declare my opinion. Indeed, I waited for your words, I listened to your reasonings, while you searched out what to say. I paid close attention to you, and surely not one of you convinced Job or answered his words. Lest you say we have found wisdom, God will vanquish him, not man. Now he has not directed his words against me, so I will not answer him with your words. They are dismayed and answered no more. Words escape them, and I have waited because they did not speak, because they stood still and answered no more. I also will answer my part, and I too will declare my opinion, for I am full of words. The spirit within me compels me. Indeed, my belly is like wine that has no vent. It is ready to burst like new wineskins. I will speak that I may find relief. I must open my lips and answer. Let me not, I pray, show partiality to anyone, nor let me flatter any man, for I do not know how to flatter, else my maker would soon take me away. May God bless the reading of his word, and may God bless you. Bye.